Hi, I'm Emily Padfield from Farmers Weekly and we're here today to test Case IH's newest generation of quad track. There are four models, the 450, 500, 550 and 600. The tractor behind me is the 600, which is the largest model available in the range. Powered by a 12.9 litre FPT Cursor engine, it's the first tractor in Case IH's range of quad tracks to feature a dual fuel solution to emissions legislation. We're now in the field with both the new 600 quad track model and the previous STX530 uh, version of the machine. And I'm going to introduce you to David Jones of Hatton Bank Farms. We're working down ground on Vale Fresco's land just next door to David Jones's courtesy of Nick Munro. I'm David Jones, arable farmer from uh, Hatton Bank Farm just outside Stratford-upon-Avon. We're a mixed um, crop farm with uh, wheat, beans and oilseed rape, um, running a reduced till system using the uh, STX530 as our main uh, tractor. We started in uh, 1997 with a 9350, uh, uh, 310 horsepower articulated uh, tractor um, and then we progressed uh, in 1999 with a uh, 9380 400 horsepower uh, quad track. So as land and size has uh, grown so have the tractors. I think uh, criticisms have been probably the ride quality uh, in the cab um, and, and the gearbox shifts um, which you know, from what I've done with this new 600 uh, you know, all of that has been addressed. Well, the minute uh, we moved the machine in the yard, um, it was really visible and uh, noticeable that the improvement of the ride quality in the cab, combining the two together, a very smooth gear shift, and the cab offering that, um, that comfort is absolutely excellent. Okay, so the new 600 quad track um, with a Simba 6 meter cultivator on the back. Uh, it's, it's fitted with VRS GPS steering, which means all I need to do is uh, press a button on the new multi controller armrest and th then it will pick up the AV line and away we go. So we're just going up the gears, it's very smooth compared to the older model and as you can see everything we can see here is on the new 700 screen. What the engine power we're using, so that's going to jump because I've just gone up a gear. We're now going 13.2k, 13 it's using 102% of the engine power, which means it's boost, using that extra boost power from the new te engine technology. It's all very user-friendly with the new multi-controller armrest. Uh, Case IH have tried to do this so that models right from the 100 horsepower uh, maximum right up to the 600 horsepower plus quad track have exactly the same operating software and setup. So any driver that gets into one of these can actually figure out very quickly what buttons he needs to press. Throttling back a bit. cultivator out of this the ground trying not to run over the hair <laughs> we're now in auto steer mode so we're gonna throttle up a bit start to go up the gears again Something that's very noticeable is uh, the fact that we're cultivating um, some salad beds. So these are raised beds and the new cab suspension 
uh, which is uh, four springs, one in each corner, mean it's hardly noticeable to actually go over these beds almost at uh, quite an acute angle. As you can see from some of the, um, the actual headland work, it's so manoeuvrable for such a huge uh, piece of kit. Um, with the, the way the four tracks work, it's almost like having a, a wheeled machine. Um, users of the existing Puma ranges will be quite familiar with this new joystick for the quad track. Um, you've got everything you need there, forward reverse shuttle, uh, up and down shifts, hydraulic controls, um, and it's all very straightforward. The, the benefits to me um, of a quad track, uh, we've always got four corners driving. Um, the headland management as in compaction you know is a very kind on headlands no scuffing um, and then when we want to do the the heavy cultivations um, we've you know we've got we've got the power to the ground 